Party skill, party skill, party skill. We got to do the thing. See, 12. So let's do skill, party, skill, party, skill, party, skill, party. We're going to skill now, party now, I'm pausing now. Jump. What is up, everyone? My name is Chrono, and welcome back to some more Take Runner Plays Xenoblade Chronicles. Anyway, in the last episode, we got a destination where we have to go next. And today, we decided to come to Colony 9 to do some quest. And from the looks of the time, I don't think there's any quest available for us uh, at this time, at least. Uh, but yeah, whenever you go to new areas, so we didn't technically go to a new area. Actually, I just think there's no quest for us. Wow. But yeah, whenever you go to like a new area or something like that. Sometimes, for example, like when Ricky joined us, we unlocked new quest. We don't have a new quest like unlocked thing until like very late in the game. So if anything, what is our affinity with this place? I think it's three stars. Oh, it's four stars. Chances are we might be able to do a couple things. So we're going to do those. So for the next couple episodes, I decided episode 40 most likely is when we're going to start heading towards the next story mission. Unless we can finish what I want beforehand. I just want to do a lot of questing in these things. So today's episode would be Colony 6 and 9. And the next episode would be Colony 6 as well if I don't finish them in this. I'm not going to try to do everything, but just spin a whole thing. As well as the Collectopedia. I want to try to actually start filling some of the stuff in. Anywho... Uh, time for me to go check our quest and see what we can and can't do. have that one? I think we do. Yes, we do have that. Alright, so after looking at all the quests, some of the quests that we can do do not unlock until we have four and a half affinity, which we don't. But one in particular, also, oh yeah, that's uh, they're getting the affinity between two different characters. Okay, the quest I'm looking for. We can't do because it doesn't spawn until later in the game. Uh, but yeah, after looking at this, the only quest that we could do is with four star, four and a half star affinity. And to get the remainder of the quest, we have to have five stars. So yeah, we're kind of done with calling in. Nine. So we actually don't have to do anything. Well, that just saves me time because no, not that. We're we'll just head to Colony Six.
All right, so there is one that we could do, but to do that, we have to get 15% for this. So let's try to craft as much as we possibly can. Huh, can't do, well, we only have this one level two, so we have to get the rest of it level two. So we need three hold plank, a empress beetle, and dust elemental, and some sea berry. Well, off we go to grab those. Alright, going to Machina Forest. We're going to go to fight the Dust Elementary. I think there's another place we could fight some, but I don't remember where it is. And I believe it has to be not raining. Thank you. At the same time, we also need to get some Collectopedia stuff. So, for Colony 6 and 9, it's probably going to be like going through them super fast. Due to the fact that we pretty much have most of the stuff already done. And for now, kind of just have to focus on Machina Forest or Frontier Village. And Alchemoth. So yeah. Uh, also in between screens I was going to make some gems. Or in between episodes. Well, Before starting this recording session I should say. I was going to make some gems. And I surprisingly don't have enough. Mainly because we haven't really been fighting enemies. Because we've been skipping past them. But... That's why we're doing this questing. Alright, so where... Yeah, there you are. We should be able to... Do a lot of damage quickly. And my controller is low. That's not too good. Then again, I did leave it on... For a while. I was using the, the cannon, so... Oh, we have to fight this now. But it's still a chest. That does mean we probably could have got it. Oh, dude, I thought he got another enemy into the fray. And I'm like, no. Dust element, yes. Alright, so... We got that. I, I just press down and then minus. We need an Empress Beetle and a Sea Berry and some Horde Planks. I know where to get those, so let's do that. Here we go, map. Machina Force. Right down here. You get us them, and so we're going to do that. Oh, I kind of did it in the wrong one. I should have done summon copy to get a second uh, thunder, but I ended up getting a second wind. I'm like, how are you asleep? I forgot that's because Ricky has an art that picked everyone asleep plus himself. Hey, free affinity. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, burning. I forgot about that. Finish him. Okay, I didn't finish him. Eh, okay, now he's done. Sweaty cloth. This one should give us what we need. Nope. This should give us what we need. Nope. I think someone might be able to trade the items. It's like the same time, I think it's the sniper ones that give it to us. And then fire. Fire, ooh, yeah, that's a lot of damage actually. Alright, let's break up Ricky. Ooh, 
Okay, okay. That did, like, no damage. Wind. Was that, uh, the bullet one? Metal bullet, that's what it was. Because I don't think I was headshot, because if I was headshot, I would have been like, whoa. Sweaty cloth, that's all we need. No, oh, we're not getting any of the items that we need. We just had a whole bunch and we just got rid of them before our quest. Which is fine, but... Also, I also think there's Oopas down here. <laughs> just chasing him down. Yeah, the enemy got in as well. Let's wake up you. I can always check to see if someone trades it, so. That's a hard push he did. He's blazed. Alright, let's finally use Thunder. Ooh, a fancy Alugama. Oh, that's because you stole it. I'm like, why did that pop up? And this give us... Whoop, one of the two. Alright, gonna check something real quick. So these things drop at 20% or uh, NPC named Lupa. Yeah. With three star affinity in Colony, not Colony, uh, Frontier Village will give it to us. Or, okay, those don't drop it. It's um, the Scout or Heil. I think that's what it is. So not those either. Uh, there's an NPC named Nello, I think it is, who also drops it. I mean, can trade, but it's over trade, so there's a chance we could possibly do that. The things aren't joining in the fight anyway, so put the blaze to both of them. Thunder. Let's go recap Ricky. Actually, no, think about it. I probably should have done the quest in re reversed. Should have done uh, Alchemar, then Frontier Village. Because of the newest ones and we'll have quest. Okay, please give me what I need. No.
Got a second wood plank. I've been buying a lot of newies. Uh, that I got a skill tree for some. Oh, it's a skill link. Uh, they now have two level two affinity. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
they have been fighting a lot of these enemies. And instead of showing every small fight, I decided, why not just do one? I mean, well, show the ones where I get it. Uh, I was going to... Whoops. I hate when I do that. Now, there is... I should probably actually go back here and then just reset everything. I did say there was a trade for overtrade for that NPC. That NPC is actually in Alchemoth, and once they go to... Frontier Village, they sell it. We don't have the ability to do that yet, so. But we don't. So yeah, the scouts drop it 20% and also the other ones drop it, so. I could actually just keep reloading this one and keep finding this guy if I needed to. So my quick way of doing this is switching the Shulk, finding the scout to go behind it and this backslashing it. Instantly kills the enemy, the other ones don't get aggroed, and I can keep on doing it this way. This time it's going to give it to me. Or not, okay. I know those enemies do drop it, but I think I'm going to go find the other ones. There's also another one right here. And there you go. The last one we need. Uh, so if I'm correct, that should be that one done. Uh, we need one Empress Beetle and a Sea Berry. All right.
Alright, so for Empress Beetles, they spawn in front of village. Uh, I think around here. Since there's a lot of collection orbs, we could just... There's one right there. We got a black panel. A rainbow bug. Oh, wait. We got the two Empress Beetles. Oh, we did. Uh, and now all we need is a sea berry. So, in Alchemoth, there should be a named NPC somewhere around here, I think. Oh, I'm not even at the right time. I thought it was nighttime. I guess it changed. Around 1800 to 6 o'clock. No, the two. What is this I think it's actually you. Yes, I'll talk to you anyway so you can go into the infinity chart. So I'm going to talk to you. And you... Is that actually... No, it's not better. Uh, you can have the force of gossip. Alright, I need two more. One for the Collectopedia. And one for the quest. Here's another. No, you can have a black panel. I just found one. It's really cool. And one more. There's a trading bonus. That you can have the force of gossip again. Thank you. Now. No. Okay. Take that. Back to Colony 6, and we can finally reconstruct everything, hopefully. Alright, here's this one. Even more shops? Yay! I believe after this we will be getting a quest. So yeah, and up to 20, no, 30 minutes. Oh, we don't have 15% yet. Never mind. Yeah, we're up to 30 minutes and we're just now starting to do some quests. I think we completed no quest. I should really turn off the notification whenever I record, but I'm just too lazy. It's like, it doesn't bother me. It's just only during the cutscenes, and luckily we're not in a cutscene. And there we have it. This should give us 15%. More land outside the colony, nice. I don't know how you guys grew two trees in like a span of... Like a day. <clears throat> Level two. Oh, that stuff is like outside that part. Nice. Upon doing it, you level up. I mean, experience three. Different calling six mech on. Uh, all right. I believe that is. Somewhere over here. It's like somewhere around this way. 
God, there's a lot of heart of hearts everywhere. <clears throat> I didn't even look at what we need for level three. Wait, where's this thing? Quest log. Oh, it's over here. All those enemies over there. All those NPCs. There's a hot tot over there. Oh, you saw me. Drifter. Jude hard. I'm just like throwing everything out there. We don't have a topple. Now I'll keep my Minato art actually. Ricky. It's almost my god. <clears throat> Alright, the enemy's done. We get some coins. How many enemies are, do we have to deal with? Alright, that's all our chest. I'm about to say, these guys dropped the ball we needed for Colony 6? No. Alright, backslash. Yeah. Alright, everyone group up and then. Went out a buster. Alright, you tried, Ricky. Actually, Battle Soul again. They're gonna be doing zero damage, but I right, honestly. It's fine. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> oh no, he's he's trying to stay up there. All right, we just have to keep hitting it. Once I get my uh thing up or just not a buster and he will fall and there he goes <laughs> oh there they go Ricky wait is he actually climbing up good job Ricky you just got stuck <laughs> Oh, we got a seal tree. Most likely, Shulk. Maxed out. Chain of friendship. Increases chance of a chain link. Which I did like this into it. It's in the tutorial session. We... It just needs high affinity, so... Uh... So you can switch branches now. What does this give us? Defense to either and then chain attack damage. Now let's finish off with this one. Alright, uh, let's head back to colony six. And talk to Juju real quick. So we can see what we need for level three. This we just need four star armor, which we probably get once we get to Sword Valley. 
Como Hide, which we probably get from Eggman's, which we're going to probably fight a whole bunch of them. Ice Cabbage, which I know we would get those, so that's actually coming up as well. And Snow Element means we have to fight more of those stupid Nebula enemies. And then Squall Element. I think we can actually get level 3. But we just don't have to worry about it right now. Upon reaching uh, Machina 4, there is an NPC that we could transfer over, but I don't know if we should do it yet. And we have Thing. Now, now there is the Aerith Sea quest. Upon reaching Aerith Sea, we got some new quests. Let's change the time. Ooh, eight, 10 o'clock. Good enough. Now, actually, thinking about this, I think most of these people, I know my battery's low. But yeah, now thinking about it, half these quests. Yeah, I just now remembered. So there's no quest we can do at the moment. Because half the, the quest that we can do now, the NPCs that give it to us are from uh, different areas. You have to move them into Colony. This place, Colony 6. Uh, Gale Slash. What do you have? Peerless. Still strike. A lot of stuff for Dunban. So Colony Nine is I mean Colony Six is also kind of in a spot where we can't really do much. Well, let's head over to the Tola Marsh real quick. Cause I think There should be a quest line that we can start here. Okay, we're just gonna jump ship and go straight to Frontier Village. The reason for it is because, well, we pretty much don't have anything else to do. Colony 9 has nothing. We need like 4.5 Infinity, which we don't have. Secondly, Colony 6, have, we have to transfer some characters over. So we're just gonna do Frontier Village. And then hopefully 
do that. So we're gonna probably we haven't played Dunban for a while. So let's run these three to start building some affinity between them. Uh, what quest should we do first? I really don't know. Uh, oh, dang it. I feel like I've done nothing this episode. But we... Actually, we haven't. We just built Colony 6. So, let's do a little bit of questing. So, I'll just do one extra quest. And hopefully the video is not too short. What do you have, Megaga? Feed compost to the Time Mushroom on the 1st, 4th, and 7th. Alright, so we have to fix them. I don't think this quest has any outcome, but just for safety, I guess I'll double check. Speaking of which, what is this quest called? Fixing the Mushroom. Right, there is no thing we just have to find the mushroom. I actually did not want to talk to you. Uh, there is a unique comment. Uh, Ryan does say something during this quest. That's one reason I kind of want to start looking at all the quests. I can put the unique comment in it. Uh, then he said the fourth floor. Gotta go up again. So in between this episode and the next, I'm gonna take a small break from recording, even though it's only been one episode, to kind of research stuff, I guess you can say. Uh, the NPCs moving and seeing how that changes anything. And as well as, well, uh, I don't know. Mainly just start looking into that and then plan out what I want to do for the next episode, what quest I want to do, and try to complete as much as we possibly can so we don't have another wasted episode like we did today. I could have sworn like I would have more quests, so that's why I went to Colony. Not I should have double checked. Because I was just in a hurry to record, I guess. One thing I don't like about Frontier Village is like you climb up all this. It's not a bad thing or anything like that. It's just a lot of NPCs. Uh, it's... Oh, I have your quest done. Quest complete. We completed a quest. Yes, technically we completed. The... Oh, you both got new arts. My art, you got Soaring Tempest. Spins around in the air, striking foes all around with shock waves. It fills the talent gauge, which is not bad. It's red art too. And Melia, you got... Starlight Kick, I believe. This is a Force Topple. And I think getting rid of Hypnotize would be better. There you go. I don't know if it's like a guaranteed force topple, but hey, you know, it's always living inside a tree would be interesting, like a huge tree. Probably not good, but I don't know. I just maybe just having a tree house would be kind of cool. All right, now, plus side about this. Ew. Can we make it in? The direct middle, perfect. I feel like that's an achievement going into the thing from the very top. Could be completely wrong. Maybe this is a self achievement I gave myself. Friends fix time mushrooms. Now we'd be able to eat properly. 
this is all about eating snacks. Thank you, friends. I wonder if the uh, nearly snack time. Okay, agility down three. Uh, you know what? Actually, I know we have this. Let's do this real quick. Collectopedia. Uh, what is close to done? You're done. You're missing one. Well, I'm actually not even close with Tefer Cave. The High India Tomb is done, so let's do all these. Getting the bug gives us Ether up three. Wow. White tube. Spiral lamp. Oh, I haven't read spiral lamps. Electric plus three. Ooh, tasty sausage. And what does this give us? Ether defense three. Completing it gives us shell armor. And then Alchemoth are missing one item. Wow. Ha ha ha. <laughs> That's actually a funny item name. I'll give you a ha ha ha. Uh, there's also an NPC over here. From P Picky. This person has, I think, a long quest line. It's not long, it's like four episodes. Not my said episodes. Four, like, quest boxes. So, yeah. Speaking of which, that one NPC also that we just did has another quest line, but we have to have two star affinity, which we do not have. Oh, actually, I actually have an ideal. Do I have any generic quests that are not done? That's not what I wanted. Material quest four. Oh, yeah, the Upa Embers. Does anyone trade this? Uh, someone does, but we need three star affinity. Uh, let's look at Machina Force. We're missing a challenge quest. Only on hot days. Because we can actually finish off this one real quick. Right, let's do that. So twisted tree gate we head west we'll find the location of this but it has to be a hot day so we're gonna be doing some uh, time traveling it's a big ether deposit it's probably not like a lot of items but st still but there's an item I think it's where that water is whoa quest up there they're probably the Upas that we need. Kind of like Dunban's sword. That move. I believe up here is an area called the X Watering Hole. 
And then this location is where we can find the unique monster. So let's get Hot Day triggered.
finally, we finally got it to spawn. I've been sitting here for 10 minutes changing the time. Uh, he has Spike, so I kind of want to bring Shulk in case he has... What should we call it? Let's try it. Let's fight him. Alright, it's, uh, what was the defense? Well, I should have done the break one instead. Oh, but he's... Oh, he's going down. Damage heal. Oh, he... Charlotte gave that to me. We didn't afford to break. Oh, it. Against the odds. Choose the fight. Blossom dance. Super easy enemy. But took us forever to get. Cool. Alright, uh, also those Oopas up there are gone. Yeah, so to get him to spawn, it has to be on a hot day or he a heat wave. So, yeah. I had rain spawn like 20 times before that happened. Anyway, we're going to end up the episode here because we're up to an hour on recording. We didn't really do much. We completed like three quests. But, at least we now know. We have to start doing stuff inside of uh, other colonies before we can... Stop moving everyone around. Alright, with that said and done, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.